See, that's not that's chopping your head off again. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so, um, what were you doing before you came to China? Before I came to China, I was working in a call centre in Hull, which isn't ideal. Okay. I didn't enjoy it. No. So, so why did you decide to, to, to leave Hull and, and go and teach abroad? Because it seemed much more exciting, something that I actually want to do, because I kind of want to teach anyway, so okay. I'm kind of hoping to do it in the UK as well. So that's something I was really interested in. All right, so is it, this is a way of you getting sort of teaching and classroom experience? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. and one of the best ideas I've had in a long time. <laughs> okay. Okay, and um, what kind of preparation did you do before you came to China? Um, sort of read up a lot about culture, so I knew what to expect when I was out here. Uh -huh. So there wasn't that kind of culture shock element, which is quite useful. Okay. And to make sure I kind of got familiar with who I'd be teaching, mm -hmm. which is always a good idea. Uh -huh. And just sort of make sure that I had my course in place before I was out here, because otherwise it's, that's a bit silly. Okay. Too. And how did you find the, the course? Uh, quite easy, actually, because I could fit it around work. So mm -hmm. cause I'm working full time. Mm -hmm. But it also meant that I could just do it when I got home or do it in the morning before I went or anything like that. Okay. So I had the flexibility. Okay. Do it whenever. And why, why do you choose China and not somewhere else? Because it's completely different to anything else in the world. Okay. Uh, you could go to some like European cities, but I don't think it would feel that different. Uh -huh. Whereas here, it feels very different and it's, you, can, you can immerse yourself in it. So in a way, you're kind of, you're able to experience what those students experience in the classroom. Okay. So you're learning as much as they are. And, uh, and how long have you been in Beijing? Uh, well, I arrived on Saturday, so I think I've been here grand total of three days. Wow. And uh, what do you think of it so far? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And anything in particular? Um, there's nothing that sort of struck me just as yet, but it's just the whole environment, because it's really different and uh -huh. so sort of a little bit of getting used to. But it's a, a completely different sort of lifestyle, so I'm just mm -hmm. sort of trying it on the minute. And uh, how, have you, how have you found the orientation so far? Really helpful. I mean, from, from the outset, we've been we've had a few Mandarin lessons. We're going to have a few Mandarin lessons. We've had been doing some cultural things, so mm -hmm. I'm going to visit a bit later. Uh -huh. so uh, how have you found the food? Really nice. <laughs> Hot sometimes, but uh -huh. definitely, definitely nice. <laughs> okay, great. Would you recommend this to anyone else? Definitely. <laughs> okay.